Hello everyone and welcome to Toko Portal Podcast. I am Ryan with me is Decade. And today we're talking about Shiri Sentai Ryu Soldier episode 16. So Kreon apologizes for last week's failure, but Gachalaya says that he's learned the Ryu Soldier's weakness. But he doesn't need Kreon anymore, so he blasts him with his shoulder cannons. Of course, Crayon reforms, but admits that it really hurts. And then we get the open. So, when I first saw that part, like, I just immediately paused and I messaged you because, what the fuck, Gagelius had no reason to do that. But then, and like, I knew he was going to reform, but then it occurred to me afterwards, like, oh, maybe he was just doing that for his own amusement. I mean, I still have a hard time swallowing that because this is a guy that has only made calculated moves that he deems worthwhile, but still. Yeah, he's just sadistic, but it it wasn't terribly well written, so he's gone, though. <laughs> uh, so it's okay. We're finally, not, we can get back to an entertaining it. villain like Wiseru. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> so, Ui is fawning over the cute- Down. Okay, uh, we should be live again. Uh, so you're saying about Oto. Yeah, her name comes from Otohime, from the Japanese folktale. Uh, Ui's dad brings her some fried chicken, she likes it, and asks to call him Fried Chicken Man. So she still don't know what his name is. Wait, do we not know what his name is? I uh, saw it on the wiki, but they never actually say it in the show. Oh, they don't? <laughs> no, they n have never said his name. Oh, that's funny. Uh, so, it's weird to me that he meets someone from... An effective Atlantis, and like, all right, try to. Here's here. Let me give you your first taste of surface food, right? Here's what I'm gonna offer you: fried chicken. It's pretty dope. <laughs> it, it's really weird to me, especially since this is Japan. Like, okay, sure, it's mm -hmm. you can assume that they know what sushi is. They've had sushi before. Uh, but. And like, hey, chicken's not a bad thing to go to, but fried chicken, really? Yeah, really anything cooked would have worked. Because hey. I'm assuming they eat most things raw down there. <laughs> I mean, they might, have, they might have the power to cook things, but like, like, have they ever had curry rice before? Yeah, uh, it's kind of funny seeing uh, fried chicken in a Japanese show. Uh, uh, but anyways, she apologizes but, for getting caught by the druid on, but Melto assures her that it's okay. And of course, she has a big smile on her face. So Ko opens the door to find Kanalo eavesdropping. Three soldiers tell Oto that they fight for peace. Basically, Mosarex thinks they just want to enslave Earth after defeating the Druidon. And then we get the backstory that the Diesel tribe just kind of fell apart after the peace they had when the Druidon left. And they started fighting each other. Kanala says that he trusts the story because Mosarex is like a parent to them and their master. And was there and lived through it. Yeah. Um, so this is this is interesting because what this means is that the Landrio soldiers uh, basically won and drove the others underwater. Yep. Uh, but there, there's clearly like another side of the story that we're not being told because there's no because that didn't happen. 
that just straight up did not happen. Like, the Re Land Rio soldiers didn't do anything. Unless they, like, just started fighting each other even more, even harder, because they all want, only the ones who wanted to fight were left. Yeah, that could explain why the, some of the Kishidu were in different locations. Like, some of them just straight up fled, like, nah man, they, these are not our saviors anymore. <laughs> yeah, who knows. Maybe the movie explains it? I don't know. But, uh, Asuna suggests kind of a change of pace, It's nice. <laughs> so she takes Otto shopping, the guys are just sipping on coffee nearby. Otto asks if Melta likes her new outfit, and he says that it's cute. <laughs> of course, Kanalo is pissed. Uh, she likes Melta's blue hair, which is, in fact, its natural color. I had no doubt about that, but I'm ki I'm glad that they brought it up in the show. Yeah. Like, hey, isn't that kind of weird? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Gatileus attacks with some grunts. More, we get more awesome out of suit fighting before they reduce all change. And Gold blasts some more grunts while changing as well. And then we get a pretty awesome fight with Meta Meta Soul Red and Beauty Beauty Soul Gold against Gachalais after Red kind of finds his quote unquote weak spot. I mean, that's technically what it is. <laughs> yeah, but. There's some advantage to it. Um, so Gachalais is kind of encased in amber when he was defeated. And of course the brothers are nearby and are suspicious of this. Someone had to be. Because yes. like, that was a bit too easy, don't you think? <laughs> Where's the big explosion? <laughs> Isn't he supposed to grow 50 feet tall now? <laughs> or that. Uh, so Kanalo tries to reason with Muscle Rex again, but is just shut down. At Ui's, the brothers were told by Crayon that Gachalais is actually growing stronger because he was defeated in that. So the Rangers come back. Gachalais immediately turns giant, and Five Knights struggles against him. Kanalo runs into. A fountain in the park that he's been going to totally soaked in water and he calls Muscle Rex so I liked seeing red and gold like cooperate in the battle I liked like oh hey red figured out his weak point and just the teamwork that they had as though they had been training to do that like green and black it's like no but they just sync that well that's really good that feels good uh, and then when Red's like, hey, I'll distract him while you go in for the kill. Why me? That's Conalo's still, like, hesitance for Mozarax of, like, what if this is a trap? But just Ko's genuine reaction of, what, do you need a reason? Uh, he just kind of sells what kind of person Ko is because Ko doesn't understand why there's hesitancy. He doesn't, he still doesn't get that, like... Kanalo has that mistrust in him. Uh. And then seeing Kanalo like jump into the fountain, like that was really well done. Instead of just sticking his hand, is like no full body sitting there. The actor did a great job with that. And as like the scene goes on and he's getting more and more wet. Yeah, I would agree. That was a pretty well done scene. So, Gachalais pushes Five Knights underwater, and it's totally defenseless. And Gachalais kind of turns into a submarine, which is kind of silly looking, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Kanalo passionately tells Muscle Rex that he believes in the land three soldiers, and he'll take responsibility if he's wrong. He just wants Muscle Rex to trust them just this once. So, Muscle Rex shows up, attacks Gachalais, Gold resale changes, 
then they form Kishiryu Neptune. Pretty cool name, cool design. And we get an insert song. And Gatulais is defeated. It's all really well done, too. Uh, so, the whole convincing Monster X scene was great, and ending with like, Monster X jumping in anyway, but still saying fool. Uh, and you have to wonder, uh, it, was he talking to Kanalo, or was he talking about himself there? Because of what we learn. Uh, then that, Gadgelais is arrogance, like, what, I've already seen what this alligator can do. Like, no you haven't. <laughs> Kishiryu Neptune. Uh, it's great that they, that like, it actually shows how the uh, land mech can't really fight underwater to make that distinction between the two of them and why this water one actually matters. Uh, in all, pretty good showcase for the new mech and some more great showcase for the new member who is actually joining the team now. That was pretty quick. On to bigger things, I guess. Uh, but yep, yeah, like Wiseru. <laughs> yeah. The whole direction of that fight was really cool. All the bubbles and underwater. It was completely underwater, except for the finisher, in which Neptune just goes flying out of the water and diving back in. Which is pretty awesome. So, Otto arrives and asks what Mosarex told Kanalo. Basically, he said he was foolish for only teaching Kanalo his resentment for the past, but not his hope for the future. So, he's willing to give the two soldiers a chance. Trial period. Yeah. And then, Otto asks if Malto will marry her in the future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that was great. That was great. Yeah. He Kanalo isn't just looking for a husband or wife rather, Oto is also looking for a husband and she seems to have hit it off with Melto in her mind uh, yeah. it, they just run into this problem where all of them are hundreds of years old but Oto it still has the appearance of a child to them like to them she's ba she basically is 12 years old <laughs> yeah, it's kind of messed up so no, Melto is not is very not willing to accept that. <laughs> yeah, he runs away pretty quick. Uh, but that's it for the episode. I don't really remember what the preview was. Um, me either actually. Oh, the preview is about uh, a new mech, a new Kishi Ryu. Uh. It's actually gonna... I think it might only be the one, but there's going to be two of them. They're brothers. Wait, no. I think Demon Volcano combines with Musa Rex. Oh. Exactly what I asked for. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's what the trailer looks like. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm getting confused from... Uh, from uh, toy leaks that I saw, so ignore what I just said. Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I guess that's the benefit of having Lego mechs. <laughs> uh, they can just combine together? Yeah. In strange ways. Like, that tank mode Kishiryuo that we saw in one episode. Um. Let me. I just need to confer. I'm trying to find the uh, thing that I saw to confirm that like it wasn't actually for these two mechs. Uh. I'm trying to give the spoilers. 
Uh, I, I just need to lay a yes or no on whether or not, like, because the spoilers I saw said, hey, these mechs are brothers, and Oops. these two, one of, like, Demon Call Kano called the other one brother, right? So. Hmm. I don't know. So it could actually, like, be that these were the two mechs that I saw. Um. Nope, it was two different ones, and that's all I'm going to say. Alrighty. Getting two mechs soon. Alright. Uh, short one, but the episode was super straightforward. Uh, it feels like they don't have anything to do with Ui's dad. Like... Like, what, like, Ui's dad right now is what Waz became in Zeo. Um, uh, yeah, kind of close. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, after the White Waz situation was resolved, Waz had nothing to do, no, nothing to do on the show anymore, and so now he's just kind of there to, like, react to things happening. And that's what Ui's dad is doing right now. Like, he's just kind of reacting, but everything is inconsequential. Changes. Uh, well, yeah, thanks for joining us tonight, everybody. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more Kamen Rider Zio, and next Tuesday for more Ryu Soldier. Uh... Seems like we're actually getting that underwater volcano I asked for. See you next time. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun episode. Thanks for listening. <laughs>